Long ago, the Traveler came to the Soul System. It brought a golden age to humanity. They explored, they built, they thrived. Until the collapse. A terrible calamity caused by the Traveler's oldest enemy. It brought the people of Seoul to the brink of extinction. When all hope seemed lost, the Traveler saved humanity by creating us. With the Traveler's light, ghosts and guardians together protected the last city from the forces of darkness, no matter the cost. But we soon learned even that was more complicated than we thought. Our enemies wielded the light, shaking our faith in what we once thought we knew. From old conflicts grew new alliances. And just as our enemies learned to wield the light, we found a way to leverage the darkness. In that darkness, we rediscovered the being responsible for humanity's collapse, the witness. It wishes to create what it calls the final shape. Our universe perfected in the name of salvation. Everything calcified into eternity. We've tried to follow the witness into the Traveler, and every attempt has failed. Until now. Vanguard Scout Crow wished his way inside. The paracausal bond he shares with his twin sister will guide us safely through. Now, our leaders prepare a strike force to enter the Traveler, to confront the Witness. That's our role, the tip of the spear. Every battle we fought has brought us to here and now. It's time. for you.
witness nears the final shape. We're initiating Operation Ahamkara. Now. The Traveler cannot abate it much longer. The portal is unstable. Ikora, the Guardian. Me. I won't lose another soldier in this war. If it is, it was an honor to serve the last city with you. What's next? We're outmatched, we're alone, and... And... What is that noise? It's coming from over there. You gotta get better boots, Crow. I could hear you coming a mile away. Now Aldrin, <laughs> he could sneak up on a fella. You're not Crow. Well, I'll be damned. Cade. 
How long has it been? A lifetime. The kid told me a few guns were on their way. Said the Vanguard would send their best. It's real good to see you two. I finally have someone to talk to about Crow's stupid haircut. Come on. I'm guessing you have questions. And I won't say I have answers. But let's talk. I like Crow's haircut. <sighs> well, where to even start? I died. You probably remember that. Not great. Partly my fault. Lesson learned. Let's not dwell. And after that, nothing. But not a bad nothing. A peaceful nothing. I think I felt her there, too. My ghost. Sundance. She was part of me. Or I was part of her. Like we were two cards shuffled back into our deck, whole again. And then there was, well, there was pain. Separation, something pulling me out. I woke up here in this body alone. No ghost, no way to use the light. And what could make this traumatic experience better than finding my killer waiting for me? But we talked it out because we're adults. He seems nicer these days. Yeah, pretty low bar, I'll admit. Because we got bigger problems, bigger, weirder problems. Crow said this was all inside the Traveler, but I already knew. It's in pain. Pain I can feel. Somebody's up in that monolith with their hand on a knife. Crow calls it the witness. And what it's doing out here has a name too. The final shape. It's the end of everything. The witness brought darkness into the Traveler. Everything you see here inside it is a physical manifestation of a thought made real by the light. Your thoughts, mine, the witnesses. It plans to weaponize that light, reshaping reality outside the Traveler into a perfect stillness. A great silence, never changing, never dying. Imagine your greatest triumph, or your most profound regret, immortalized as a part of a universe where nothing exists except by the witness's consent. It chooses what your eternity will be, and imprisons you safely inside it. This is its promised salvation. This is the final shape. The witness sees itself as the god it wishes the Traveler was. And although the Traveler resists the witness's corruption, it and everything we know will eventually succumb. I always warn Zavala not to put all his faith in the Traveler, to save some for the rest of us. Maybe faith in the Traveler is exactly what we need. If light is powerful enough to destroy the universe, then light is powerful enough to destroy the Witness. I used to think 
I'd give anything to bring you back. But when the witness offered me an eternity here with you, with our son, I know you understand why I refused. There are people who still need me. Soon. Safi. I'm sorry. up commander it's a lie the witness shows us what it thinks we want and what has the traveler shown me <sighs> we should go I don't know how you're here. But... Uh, yeah, me too, big guy. <sighs> me too. And I thought we lost her when her ship went down. But she's tougher than that. She soldiered on. She... She... Losing Amanda was like losing you all over again. I'm done burying my friends. Life isn't about holding on forever. I mean, I was gone, born at peace, and now I'm here, opening old wounds, filling them with salt. Eventually, you have to let go.
Oh, hey, you're here too. Great. Maybe we can. Tenants. Hi. Sontes? Is that really you? I'm what you wanted me to be. <gasps> I don't understand. I know. You've been here before. You won't be here again. You just don't remember. You can't. What comes from the light, returns to the light. Well, what if what I want is to stay here? With you? If that's the fate you make. But you're always with me, Cade. Guardians, ghosts, the Traveler. We're all connected. We're... Devotion, bravery, sacrifice. The Guardian Tenants, I, I... I know. I... I know, I know, I heard you the first time, but you forgot one. It's... <laughs> no! 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 Yes. Yeah. 
your traveler had no tolerance for such vision. And we had no tolerance for its ambivalence. We would force purpose from it. Dread by sinus, immutable will. So we called our doubts. Fear.
all is not yet lost. The witness may have won this battle, but it is wounded. And while you've been occupied here, within the Traveler's heart, I've brought our allies to help you land the final blow. The full might of Keitel's empire stands behind us in this endeavor. Mizrax Kel rallies his House of Light to save their great machine. And I have found a guardian of great renown, Micah Tim, who comes to us with bold ideas. If you intend to subdue the Witness, we must first fight its corruption and weaken its hold on the Traveler. You will grow in strength, in power, and when the Reckoning is at last upon us, you will storm the Witness's monolith and strike where it is most vulnerable. You will shatter its hold on the Traveler, and you will end it. the Witness's monolith and shattered its hold on the Traveler's light. Their courage bought us one last chance to finish this. But the Witness still lives. The Guardians and their ghosts will face the Witness. While we eliminate the remainder of its forces, our final chance at freedom lies on that field. This enemy has taken so much from us all. Elixni. Cabal. Awoken. Humanity. I've... The Witness started this war long ago. But now... We end it. Please, bring him back. He's just a ghost. You raised an army. You can bring back one ghost. He sure shined bright back there, huh? Cade. What comes from the light returns to the light. My gal Sundance told me that. She also said we're all connected. Guardians, ghosts, the Traveler.
Now you tell the others this was my choice. My life. Nobody makes my fate but me. You're my favorite. Don't ever forget that. Guardian. There you are. It's definitely healing, but we've still got a lot of work to do. Surviving witness forces, clashes with the Lucent Brood. So much change. We've been fighting for so long. And now, we've won. I thought it would feel... different. Well... Maybe because we haven't celebrated it yet. Guardian. Ghost. You're just in time. Tell them... Cade wouldn't let a little work get in the way of having a good time. <laughs> You're right. For now, our task is appreciating this moment. And after that... We'll face the future when it comes.
Witness's death spread like a shockwave through its troops. The instant it was destroyed, things shifted. Most of the Witness's followers fled when it fell, but its most zealous believers are still carrying out its last orders. Zevo Arath is still out there, mortal, moving in the shadows. How salvation has turned on itself, with Aramis nowhere to be seen. Savathun and the Lucent Brood are trying to claim control of the pale heart. With the witness dead, both scorn and taken are directionless. To put it simply, in the wake of the witness, a power vacuum has been created in the universe. Who knows what will try to fill it? But out of all of this, the most worrying thing is an aurora. It's bleeding out of the traveler. Light and darkness venting into open space over Earth. We designated a no-fly zone within 100 kilometers of the Aurora, enforced by Alliance cruisers. So far, no one has tested it. During the initial formation of the Aurora, a piece of anomalous matter erupted from the Traveler, moving away at relativistic speeds. We tracked one out to a distance between Neptune and Jupiter, in the orbital path of Nessus. Then we lost track of it. I've got hunters in the field investigating. Thank you, Crow. I'll leave it to you. Copy that. I'm headed back out to the field myself. I... need to see if I can pick up Fickrell's trail. Find out what's going on with the Scorn. Keep me updated. And... good work.